Today's show is a special show that is dedicated to Haiti. Unfortunately, Haiti is going through a terrible time where we had a 7.3 on the Richter scale earthquake. So today will be dedicated to those families, to the victims of the earthquake uh, that happened in Hades. Yes, and is. we're going to ask all of our viewing audience, as you see, there's a candle here. And uh, we are lighting that candle for the many people who are suffering and many who are, have already died and dying in Haiti. And we're, we're doing a first because this candle, uh, we're lighting it so that you will light a candle and, and then pass it on to all your friends and neighbors. And we believe in that around the world, people will be lighting a candle. candle. What is a candle? Candle is symbolic of life and hope and expectation and of energy. And this is what we are looking for God to do for the people of Haiti. Bring back life and energy and hope. And as you light the candle and someone else lights a candle and someone else lights a candle, we know that around the world people will be sensitized to realize that this suffering is not just for the people of Haiti, but it's a suffering that we have to take notice of. And so we're gonna pray that, uh, that you will follow our lead and, and light a candle for Haiti. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you because you're the Almighty God. And you're the God of all flesh and there's nothing impossible with you. And we know, Lord, as this candle is lighting, it's symbolic of life. And we ask, O oh God, that you would bring new life to Haiti. We pray that you would touch the hearts of, of the people. Give them hope and encouragement. Send them a sign that it's not all over, that it's just the beginning of even great things to do, to happen for Haiti. Around the world, as people give and clothing and money and whatnot, we believe that out of all of this can come a greater Haiti than it was ever before. And so, God, we ask that you would touch the hearts and touch the minds of people who are watching this program, that they would light a candle, and not only light a candle and pray, but they would give to revi revitalization of Haiti. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Wow, that's wonderful. But we'd like to add that we are doing something here at Church Lab Community Church, making a difference and stepping up like we always do. We're proactive, we make a difference in, it, in our community. We talk about your nuclear family, we talk about the extended family. Now, this is our global family that we're reaching out. Here at Church Life Community Church, as well as uh, with Ask Dr. Tommy O at La Casa de Salud, we are collecting uh, food uh, as well as clothes. We had uh, uh, some of the local merchants that I work with have dropped off supplies, which I will be delivering over to Church Life to right. the bishop. Mm -hmm. What are we doing with it? Well, those clothing uh, is going to be taken to World Vision. And World Vision, as you know, um, has been an emergency service, not only in the times of crisis, but all year round, meeting the needs of people. And World Vision has the capacity to ship the clothing directly to where the needs are and those things that they need. We ask that you give money because there are many things that have to be purchased. And so as you do this, we know we're going to certainly make a difference. We'd like to also uh, look at some of the things uh, Dr. Tamio and I have done in this last year. We have had, in 2009, a year of success. Absolutely. The, this, this past year has been uh, fantastic. It's yes, been it a, really, really, we, it, we've been blessed. Uh, uh, you know, God thanks those mm -hmm. who take mm -hmm. care of his people, and we've been blessed. And over the past year, this has probably been one of the best years we've had in several years sure. where uh, we've had anywhere from a few hundred to a few thousand mm -hmm. uh, community members uh, be a part of our uh, outreaches. Exactly. I was just thinking about uh, AIDS Day, first AIDS Day um, that we took time, not, <clears throat> not AIDS, Asthma, asthma, asthma day. That's correct. You know, a lot of people were talking about asthma. Well, I'm going to tell you something. The Bronx leads the nation in asthmatic cases. That's correct. And we decided that we were going to do something about that, and we were proactive. And what, what is proactive? The Word of God says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. And the only way that we can overcome any of these illnesses is through knowledge. And that's what uh, Dr. Tamio does, uh, and not only uh, knowledge, but also treatment. And then also we look at the Bronx Church Day. Now, Bronx Church Day was fantastic. 
It was a day where people came from all over and they relaxed in the park, they heard great gospel music and uh, they were given screening for different things. Uh, they were also given Bibles and literature and food. It was a wonderful day, a family day, Bronx Church Day. Well, again, this was another first where we had the children uh, lead us into raising awareness through raising money as well as the arts and crafts. Arts and craft. Yes, mm -hmm. where they were able to raise money and awareness and sell items to raise money for uh, juvenile diabetes. Besides raising the money, they were they got together mm -hmm. in one of the local parks and they walked around and uh, with song and dance. And we had a, a live interview where you held right. the interview with mm -hmm. the uh, juvenile diabetes. If you like to go over right. that, you know it's really wonderful. And we talk about back to school and all the different things we did and the medical programs and examining people. This has been a year of servicing people in the area of need. But you know, one of the high points was our. Uh, clergy coalition, the 44th Precinct Clergy Coalition meeting at Yankee Stadium. It's the first time that the new Yankee Stadium has hosted a clergy uh, breakfast. It was fantastic. The food was great. The ambiance there was fantastic. And folk, you, you, Yankee Stadium is more than a baseball uh, uh, arena, it, a stadium rather. It is a place where you can stay all day. It's a sightseeing, but it's a tour place. But right in, we had a wonderful meeting. Get back to the meeting. <laughs> and uh, and we, we talked, the police, the politicians, the church, um, all coming together to deal with uh, issues of our community. And in the middle of that, it, the topics that, uh, Dr. Tommy O, right here, this Dr. Tommy O, dropped a bombshell. And the eyes of the people were open, the mouths were open for what he was bringing to us and telling us how we are uh, being frauded out of literally millions, maybe billions of dollars through uh, prescription fraud. And that's what the program is all about, and it's about fraud in medicine. And Dr. Tommy O, you're going to have to tell the folk what, what this is all about. Okay. Well. Before, uh, you, you actually invited me to be a part of this right. uh, inaugural uh, event right. because it's special because we work as a team mm -hmm. uh, because we take it, like I said, you're going to hear the word proactive, very important. You got to be proactive in everything you do. Be the first. Everyone remembers the first. No one remembers the second, but everyone remembers the first. So you invited me to be a part of this because right. this is something that we spoke about that was very important that we had to enrich the local community. And we're talking about the community affairs office mm -hmm. as well as uh, politicians, as you just mentioned. Right. Well, what I did brought to the table was is I wanted to address uh, fraud in medicine and specifically medi fraud with medicine and the amount of money that's generated and that's lost by the state mm -hmm. of New York. Right. This is about a million dollar industry that's being, the, the money that's generated that's being stolen from the taxpayers from New York State. Be proactive, step up, make that call. If you see something wrong, get involved. You can do it quiet behind doors. You can also call the clergy task force. We'll get you that information because that's something we brought up right, in a meeting. Right. If you're afraid, we have individuals that will step up and speak for you. So you can call Bishop Burkett and we'll make that contact for you and we will guide our community services, uh, our uh, police department or this task force, the right. Med Medicare and Medicaid task force and say, listen, you need to look into this situation here. All right. Well, again, remember, stay alive with Church Alive. You're going to be here, be a part of this. We invite you, volunteer, call Bishop Burkett, and be here.